Well, turning to other news, the Queensland Labor government last night introduced legislation that enables children as young as 12 to change sex on their birth certificate. And if mum and dad don't agree, then the child can go to the court to make the change. So we've now got a situation in Queensland where a 12-year-old is not allowed to take Panadol at school without parental permission, but can change sex on their, gender, on their birth certificate without mum and dad's say-so. Attorney General Yvette Da described the change as historic. Well, as a parent of two children, I would use another word to describe the change, but I don't think it's a word that you can use on television. Uh, this change means that a child doesn't need parental permission, they just need permission from a developmentally informed practitioner, whatever that means. But we all know how this works now with gender ideology in this country. Medical practitioners are encouraged to affirm the chosen identity of the person they're talking to. In fact, in Victoria, it's illegal to try to talk somebody out of a gender transition. And so now we've got this situation with our children. If you were living in the Sunshine State and you've got kids, you might think of moving them somewhere else. On top of that, the legislation means that anyone can change sex on their birth certificate without having to have surgery. So we've literally got a situation now in Queensland where, according to the law, a man legally can give birth and breastfeed. A woman can legally, according to the law now, have a penis which makes a mockery of the law. So congratulations to uh, Anastasia Palaszczuk. In one sinister piece of legislation, she's jeopardised women's safe spaces, She signed a death warrant for female sports, and she's completely trashed parental authority. And for what? For an ideology that has no basis in science or fact. This is very sinister indeed. And what we see here is what we've been talking about pretty much every night this week, Government is the new parent now. Who decided, well, it was Parliament, that this should start at 12? At 12 years, I can get the sex on my birth certificate changed. The ramifications for society are huge. But what does this say? When a 12-year-old, you're not old enough to drink or drive, but you can change your sex on your birth certificate, and if your parents don't agree, you can take your parents to court. Mm. That is what this legislation gives them the power to. And just earlier this week, we were talking about the child psychiatrist who's been stood down mm. from the children's gender clinic also in Queensland, yeah. and she'd spoken previously about what she called this collusion between the teachers, between the health professionals, between those in government. This is a perfect scenario. Where do the kids get this guff in their heads in the first place? Usually somewhere through the educational system, and, and we've done a story just this week about kinder and younger, younger generations being taught this from a very early age... So they get it into their heads there. Then we've got health professionals who are literally gagged from saying anything, but, oh, this is wonderful. You want to become a different gender? We can absolutely facilitate that, and I'm not allowed to say anything else. And then we've got government backing it up with laws saying you as parents are powerless. <laughs> if your child wants this, you will make it happen. Yeah. It is utterly Evil. Well, you made, you made a Freudian slip before, James. You went to call a birth certificate a gender certificate, but that's exactly what it is now. It is literally just a gender certificate. It doesn't record fact, it records feelings. What, what's, what's there to stop me just rocking up in Queensland tomorrow night and saying, well, I'm a Queenslander now, I'm going to become a woman and hoover up all the board positions? I mean, it sounds like a great time for me. To, to, to change your gender, all you need is a supporting document from someone who's known you for 12 months who can say, well, yes, wow. this person has identified that way for 12 12 months. That's it. You're no, legally a different gender. Just, just, just sign on the dotted line there. For I actually am a Queenslander. My birth certificate <laughs> is a Queensland birth certificate. So, hey.